Hello everybody, I've um, finally finished the Primaris Captain Engraver's armour. Um, I've managed to do some modifications to it, although the model hasn't actually gone that smoothly, to be honest. I've um, had some real trouble with the cloak. I planned on it being white, um, but I just couldn't get a smooth coat on it. Um, I tried a Vallejo Blanco, or blank, Vallejo White. It just became really tacky, everything stuck to it, um, literally everything. So I ended up scraping all that paint off and starting again. So there are small problems on the plate, it's not very smooth in places around here. Um, that's actually down to the plastic. So, uh, but I managed to get the red just about right. Um, I'd started the chest as normal and the sort of bone colours that I've been doing on a lot of the other models um, and then started doing gold on the other pieces but it didn't look right in gold so I went back to it and did it in grey and then realised around a second I've got bone there and grey there but by that point it was already done and I just thought, oh, probably should have thought about that, that a bit more. Um, apart from that, um, just the usual highlighting on the armour, so um, no no real changes there. The gold again, um, put a bit of red into the recesses instead of uh, rifle and flesh shade, just to give it that bit more of a tinge. Um, and then the arm, which I've completely modified. Managed to file down the original armour plate on the shoulder um, and then put on this one from the Dark, Dark Angels Terminator Command Squad sprue and then the same for the power sword. I cut off at the base of the sword, the blade, um, filed it down and then managed to join in the um, power sword from the Terminator Command Squad screw. Now there were a set of keys that were dangling over part of the sword so I needed to file that down. Thankfully that's gone reasonably well. Um, unfortunately the paint job isn't too good. You can sort of see I tried to do a lightning effect down it. Um, that didn't go too well. Um, in, in certain angles you can see it but you know, you catch it at the other angle, and it just looks pants. So, um, well, after, after the trouble with the cloak, with the power sword, um, the arm, the shoulder plate's not too even either. Um, the next time I do one of these, I'll probably rethink the way I do it, especially the power sword, I just do it completely different to the way I've done it on this one. Um, but I suppose from a distance, um, it does look much more Dark Angels than the standard Captain. Um, it's a much longer sword and you've got the the Dark Angels um, head on the blade. So it really, really has that presence about it. Um, and some people might be saying, well, hang on, it's not Deathwing because it's not Terminator armor or anything like that. So the fluff behind it, I'm just saying that he did some training with Deathwing and he's kept hold of that as he's gone through into a captain. Um, some people might say it doesn't work like that, but um, a lot of characters, a lot of captains will have spent some time in the Deathwing um, or at least been inducted at some point. So, not all. I know there are a lot of captains that aren't part of the inner circle. Um, but I, I just thought it was a nice change to the standard stuff. I had hoped to file this one down as well, because again, it's got a similar style to the um, Terminator armor plates. It's got this step at the bottom, um, which you can see there. But unfortunately, there's no um, shoulder pads for the left arm that haven't got the Crux Terminators on and obviously is not a Terminator 
so it just wouldn't sit right I'd end up filing down that part of it and then there'd be no point because I'd, I'd end up with the, the same thing I've got here so um, yeah, it might not be to everyone's taste but I think from a distance he, he might uh, might be alright so um, I've, I've currently started a, a new project um, the Storm Wolf gunship um, I've not had much luck with Space Wolves in the past um, a lot of people use um, dry brushing on them and as I said before I just can't do dry brushing so we'll see how it goes and hopefully I'll be able to give you an update on that soon so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time